So recently I had to do some dynamic forms in my work and while doing it, I realized I always been doing it wrong. So let me show you a demo. Here's our form and to show you basically how it works, there's here's our, some inputs. I can change it. I can also delete this position and I can add a new one. So as you can see, it is in dynamic form. All right, so how, how I always approach it is to keep another state from React hook form and in the submit, just pass that state to this function or even, you know, have it in the same place, but it's the wrong approach. And today I want to show you how you can approach it and do it well. All right, so let's get into the code editor. It is a basic Next.js project and I'm using the Shut CN UI library for components. If you haven't seen my video about it, uh, you should watch it, believe me. Okay, so it is the basic server component. It uh, doesn't really interest us too much. Here is the file that interests us, main form. So let's get into it. I will go from top to the bottom. Uh, so let's see what it keeps. Of course, it needs to be a client component because we are using, uh, for example, Zot or some hooks. So, so of course, it needs to be a client component almost always when you want to use form and you want to use, for example, React hook form, you will have to use use client component. Okay, uh, so I've just moved this error to a constant. Here's my schema for this form. So as you can see, it, the only thing it keeps is the field stages and it is an array of objects and all of objects has only one property and it is name. So name is basically what you can see here. Okay, let's get back here. So I've moved uh, logic from uh, our form to the hook. So here's our form. I'm using the use form and also I'm passing a type based on our schema. It's great. So uh, for just from now, all of my forms are just going to be typed. Uh, and also I'm passing a resolver for validation. And here I am, uh, here I'm passing default values, just so when we load it the first time, come on, there's an application and interview. So in the stages property, there are array with two objects as well. You could do some API call, get the data and put it into default values. It would work the same. All right. And uh, what is important that here is stages. Of course, it is now fully typed. So if I do like some crazy random string, it's not going to allow me to do it. And it's great. It's because of TypeScript, of course. Uh, here is the same thing on submit and it's also typed. As you can see here, I'm only logging the data because uh, I, it's not a part of the video I want to focus on. And here is the main reason why I've been doing it wrong and I foundly found the solution how to do it the right approach. And it is to use use field array. So as I said, I've always would keep another state like here. Uh, let's say how we call it. Let's go it uh, fields with two S because here's probably some other constant with that name and it would be uh, use state. It would be an empty array. It actually would be something like that. And I would pass it down from this hook, for example, make some handler or inside this hook make handler to add the position and all of this stuff. And at this at the end, I would pass it to unsubmit. And it's just wrong because I kept my state in two different places and it's just not looking cool. Like you, ha you had always to remember to pass it uh, and you know, it's really convenient to have all your data inside one place and it is in the hook form. Trust me. All right. So when we use use field array, we get a lot of uh, functions and yeah, actually there are, there are functions. So we get a fields and fields is basically 
our array of objects in our case we've got append and we've got remove so as you can probably think append is used to add our add an uh, input in our case and remove is used to delete it based on index and also we have to pass a control and here again typescript we can just paste whatever string so we will not make a mistake name has to be stages as you can see here let me look at it stay sieges is not as able to assignable to stages so it's great okay and i've just made some handlers to removing and appending items uh, what is error yelling at me have i removed something i don't think so okay let's go further further no, we have to check what's going on here. For real, did I made something? No. Okay, so my editor is just going crazy. So now is another important thing. Actually, this line is the craziest thing I've seen in the rig hook form in a long time. So basically, name is the same thing you would pass to a register, but we are using a control and we have to pass a name and basically we pass stages dot index dot name and because of that we can get to our stages dot index dot name and, and it is crazy I would keep a lot of other uh, properties here and it would work if I would just uh, you know use another name so is there anything else like we've got here our button and on on click it do the handle remove and pass the index here's our button with the handle append uh, and that's all actually we also have a um, submit button so we can change we can check how it works in our console so here it is i'm gonna clear it let's add new and let's call it another one dj call it and submit as you can see here in the data we've got stages and it's array of three objects with a name property also i can delete the first two and as you can see here it works just fine we keep all of our state inside of hook form and it's great it's uh, really it's been cool to to find it out so that's all if you are interested in how to use this library in your project check out this video bye